Hey, hey, it's Rebecca from Rev Bikes here to talk you through one of our 250 watt conversion kits. So, this bike's been fitted out with a rear hub motor, a 36 volt, 17 and a half amp power Lovo frame mounted battery. We'll be talking you through the Lovo technology very soon. Uh, the system is run by the controller, which in the kit is provided a bag to mount the controller. Uh, and the controller is operated by the handlebar controls. In this case an LCD, so a screen that tells you your speedo. It also shows you your battery gauge, your um, trip meter, your level of pedal assistance where you can choose from 1 to 5 for your pedal automatic pedal assistance and these are operated by the button on the right hand side here. Okay, so to turn the system on we press and hold the middle button here and the display comes on. So momentarily the backlight comes on. That's a function that can be utilised by the rider by pressing and holding the up button and the lights come on. In this case the, the bike has lights but they've been wired directly into the battery so we turn it on with its own button too. So the display shows us a few things, the time that it's been running since you reset the odometer, or the trip meter I should say, the battery gauge, the fact that the lights are on, the level of pedal assist, so this relates to when you're pedaling, the automatic assistance that comes from the motor and there are five different levels. This can be adjusted with the up and down buttons. Your speed is shown and wattage, distance and ambient temperature. We can scroll to another screen that shows us our averages and motor temperature and so on too. So you can see the symbol here which comes on when we apply the, apply the brake lever. That indicates that the brake is on and the motor will not operate. This is very helpful uh, in determining the positioning of the brake le lever brake cutout sensor because you want to make sure that it engages fairly soon after pulling the brake lever but not so soon that a rattle will engage that cutout so it's very handy to be able to see when your brake lever is on when positioning those things here we have the brake cutout sensor so you can see the sensor part is here and the magnet is here when the magnet moves away because you're pulling the brake, the motor operation will cut out so your motor will not run when you're applying the brakes. These are often just applied on one side, no real need for them to be on both sides, although you perfectly can. But if you have a setup where your gear and brakes are integrated, so you can't just fit the standard brake lever that comes with the kit, this is a great solution. Here we have the pedelec sensor. So there's two parts to this unit, the sensor part and the disc with the magnets in it. So the way this operates is that when you pedal the bike, you'll notice that the motor kicks in. So these are where you have the five different levels on the display. Main benefit of this is for super efficient use of the e-bike system, particularly in conserving your battery power. So this is great to ride along your normal riding at maybe what, level 1, level 2, level 3. Um, so you're actually using 20, 40, 60 percent of the battery's current. That means your battery will last twice as long if you're only using those settings. And it doesn't limit the top speed, so the motor will still be trying to achieve the top speed. It will just be taking longer to get there. So with these frame mounted batteries, they all securely lock into position. This one requires you to make a quarter turn on the key and then give it a push at the bottom, lifting it up towards the handlebars and out it clicks. This battery also has a battery gauge on board so you can get an idea. If all these lights except one are green then the battery is full. If they are all going towards red you need to charge a battery soon. So we see here a rear light has been fitted to the rack. There's also a front light up on the handlebars. This customer has requested that we plug these directly into the main battery power so that when we turn the battery on, which I'll do right now, 
the light comes on. So we can see this method of engaging the battery does not require the motor to be turned on or the controller to be switched on. This means if the customer is riding this bike in the dark without wanting the motor assistance, which maybe that will happen someday, I doubt it. But all the same, he can use the battery uh, to run his lights so he never has to think about charging the lights for his battery specifically, which is a wonderful thing. Okay, so let's see how she goes. Throttle start, then pedal up, unwind. Nice.